everyone uh, this is a lesson on break even point um, when you're running a business or you start a business you want to make profit business differ some people will produce something to sell to make a profit some people will buy stock to sell to make profit so the your whole point is to make profit so break even point is the point where your expenses are equal to your income you have not made profit yet so at that point where your expense are equal to your income no profit but no loss you have not lost lost money whatever you put in into the business that's what you you got out no profit so that's the break even point there's graphs that we use to show the break even point we're gonna look at one in this example so we're gonna look at a previous paper question paper that will help us to understand the break even point let's look at the question paper uh, in this question they say susan started her business one month later and because of the price increase of products it then cost her 950 to make one cup of my she calculated that the daily fixed cost was 90 rands and she would be able to sell 100 cups of Milo per day. She will sell the Milo at 12 rand 50 per cup. So after reading there, you see that the story is about cups and selling cup of Milo's. You read the story again before you start doing the question. So because I have read the story, I'm not going to read it again. So now we're going to use the information above to answer the questions that follows question 2.2.1 table 2 shows the income of the sales of cup of milo so in this table they have given us cups of milo in the first row and then income in rents so if she sells zero cups she makes zero rents if she sells 20 cups she makes 25 rents as as it goes on so they are asking you of if she sells 40 cups how much income will she make that's the first question that's your a determine the value of p in the table above let's do that 2.2.1 and um, our p is equals to it's 40 cups of milo multiplied by you remember from our um, information she was selling 12 rand 50 per cup so if you multiply that, you will get that it's 500 rands. So she will make 500 rands, 40 cups of Milo. That's our first question. Let's look at B. Okay, there was number A, 2.1A. This is B. So the, the, it says, write down the equation that can be used to calculate the income. The income can be calculated by... The number of cup, whatever number of cups that you'll be saying in this question, it was 40. And then you multiply it by 12 rand 50, you'll get your income. Let's look at the number C. Number C, identify the independent variable in this table. The independent variable it is that variable that uh, we, we put in the formula and then we get the, the answer or the dependent variable. In this question, the number of cups will determine how much income you have. So the independent variable is the number of cups uh, of Milo that you sold. And the dependent variable is the income because the income depends on how many cups did you sell. So normally on a table, they will write the independent variable on top and the dependent variable underneath. So our answer for C is number of cups sold of cups of Milo. Let's look at 2.2.2. Okay, next question, 2.2.2. Susan uses the following formula to determine the cost price of the cup of Milo. Cost is equal to 90 Rand plus 9.50 times N, where N equals to the number of cups of Milo. Okay, table 3 shows the cost price of a number of cups of Milo. So here, when she sells zero, she makes zero cups, it's 90 rand. 20 cups as it goes on. So they are asking us Q. So they are asking us what will be the cost if you have the, the cost price, 612.50 cents. That's your cost price, right? Your Q is the number of cups. What will be your Q? And then you are given a formula that is going gonna, is gonna to help you. So it's 2.2.2. 2. 
The formula says cost, that's what they've given us. Cost price is cost to 90 rands plus 9.5, 90 rand 50 cents times N, which is the number of cups, right? So what is the cost price here? The cost price is 612.50 cents. Is equal to the 90 rands comes with the formula plus 9.9 rand 50 cents. And then your N number of cups is Q. That's the Q that you are looking for. So you're gonna have 612 minus, we're gonna take the 990 rands to this side and be left with 9 rand 50 cents times Q, right? And then we subtract the two, we get 522.50 cents, 9 rand 50 cents times Q. Then we divide. If you are timesing, want to get rid of something, you times we divide. Then we divide both sides by 9 rand 50. Then our Q is equals to 55. What does it mean? It means if she produces, or the cost of producing 55 cups will be 612.50 cents. That's our Q. Let's look at the next question. 2.3, the graph on answer sheet one shows the total income for making up 100 cups of my Use the information on table three, this information, draw another graph representing the cost from the sales of up to 100 cups of mile. Okay, now on our graph, the first thing, when you have um, zero cups, in the bottom of our graph is the number of cups of mile. On this, tie, on this side is the amount. When you have zero cups, the cost is 90 rands. So I'm going to go here. And this is my 90. This is my 100. My 90 is a little bit below. The next one, when I have 20 cups, producing 20 cups is going to cost me 280. So 20 cups is 200, 210, 20, 30, or 202, 4, 6, 8, 280. It's here. It's 80. It's here. And then the next one, 30 cups is 375. This is 40, this is 30, it's 200 and 300. This is 300, this is 400, so it will be 375. 375, somewhere here, right? They space them with 10, 10. The next one, you remember you calculated it, Q was 55. 55, 612, 50. Okay, 55, this is 60, this, this is 50. 55 will be somewhere here. And then 600, yes, 600, 612, 610, 12 will be somewhere here. Then the last one, when they are 100, it's 1,040. 1,000, 10, 20, 30, 40. 1,040. Then you take your ruler, you join your points. There. And this is our cost, cost price graph. This one was the income one. Let's go to the next question. Now they ask us to use our graphs. Oh, I made a mistake with our graphs. I, I didn't write this point where it's 80 and 650. Let's fix that. When it's 80, it's 850. So here is our 800, 850 will be there. Right. And then this next question, they say use the graph, the answer sheet one to answer the following question. Explain the meaning of the word break even in the context of the question. In the context of this question is that the number of milos that are produced, the amount of, um, of producing or the cost price of milos will be equal to the income at that point where the cost price is equal to to the income, that's your break-even point. Okay, the last question, determine the number of cups of Milo at the break-even point. Okay, at the break-even point, if you're looking at a graph, it's where the income graph intersect or meet the cost price graph. So they want the number of cups. So it will be this point here where they intersect or where they meet, right? At that point, how many 
cups. So we're going to look at that. It is 30 cups. You see it's between 20 and 40. So your answer there will be 30 cups. There will be, the break-even point will be 30 cups. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.